I mean, l l leave COVID to one side and just look at how standard it is now in, in this country for the losers immediately to go to law whenever there's an election result they don't want. How, how difficult, how much people are struggling with the idea that you should elevate process over outcome, that you should accept decisions that you, you don't like because that's the rules, right? Or because a majority has voted. Uh, the, I mean, as we're talking, we just got the news that Mike Pence has pulled out of the Republican nomination, right? Um, odd, in a way, there, you know, successful governor, uh, vice president, I mean, okay, not, not not everyone's cup of tea, very religious and all that, but in, in normal times, he would have had a chunk of, of support, and he'd have certainly been regarded as mainstream. He was struggling to get above 3%. Why? I would love to say because he went along with Trump for as long as he did with all the abuses of all the normal norms and, and guardrails, but of course we all know the answer is that it's because he st stuck to his you know, oath of office and defended the Constitution. Now, there comes a point I, I really hate to say this, Madden. Please, uh, please don't think that I'm saying this in in any carping spirit. I say this from the bottom of my heart as a friend of America, and a friend of American democracy, and as somebody who, for most of my adult life, has felt much more affinity with the Republican Party than with my own British Conservative Party. But when I look at these Republican debates, I'm left with the conclusion that we don't have a party problem. You could fix a party problem. We have an electorate problem. If you cannot get elected now without going along with something that you know to be untrue, namely that the whole election was rigged, that is a that is an electorate problem. Now, was it caused by, you know, multiplicity of media? Was it caused by people spending those two years of lockdown looking at their screens too much? Was it caused by the great segregation of population of Republicans and Democrats? I don't know. I don't know. But it's, it, you know, I have a horrible feeling that this may just be what the rest of the world is heading towards. Uh, you know, the identity politics, the racial animosities, the, the absolute refusal to, to compromise on politics. And an open society can't sustain that, not for very long. Yeah, we uh, with another guest I was just talking about, uh, Deirdre McCloskey, about, yeah. about this, this dilemma of national conservatism, which by any understanding of the word conservatism that I right. have grown accustomed to, it's a contradiction in terms because... They're basically socialists who have different end goals for using the power of government. Yeah. So, well, I mean, maybe conservatism in like a Russian sense or something. Yeah. They, would, they would understand it. But uh, yes, I mean, for most of my life, the attacks on freedom and free markets came from the left. And the, the main argument was something like these <clears throat> neoliberal policies of yours are good for the rich and for the developed world, but they are bad for the have-nots. Now, that, that was so clearly, you know, defeated by the data, it, 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 was not, it was not compatible with what people could see. And so you had the kind of, the, the, the left generally went through its kind of bono moment of saying, hey, you know what, free trade and globalization is a pretty good poverty alleviation mechanism. Now the attack is coming overwhelmingly from the right, from people saying, yeah, maybe good for these poor people, but what about, you know, what about uh, us in the in the developed world? Um, and of course, it's, it's equally false, right? The, the globalization has been incredibly good news uh, for, for this country. Incredibly good news. I, I went during the the Trump term. I used to I used to watch his Twitter feed, oscillating between they're laughing at us on trade. We've got to reshore and look at these jobs figures. Best economy ever. Like only one of those can be true, and it was the second one. Right? Yeah, yeah. 